Let's learn how to use library databases for research in under five minutes. First, go to the portal from the home page. Then, find Williston Library, and now click Williston Central School Library and bookmark this site so you don't have to do it again. A good starting point is Scholastic Go, just an all-purpose general database. There are no ads. It is written for students and it has special features. Once you put in your search, you can choose a reading level if you like, or forget the reading level and have the database read to you. Water pollution is the contamination of any body of water. Another great feature of almost all of our databases, they make the citation for you. Also, they search for human selected websites on the topic that you just searched. So you can go from there. Another one like this is Kids Info Bits. It has pretty much every topic that you can imagine. And this one you can use for browsing. Let's just choose, for example, something in science. Say, oh, I don't know, maybe black holes. There are different reading levels. Again, you can have it read the text to you. How black holes are formed. It will also make a citation for you professionally that you can copy and paste in your bibliography and you can search for related topics. If you're looking for a person, FactSite is a good database for you because there are lots of biographies in this. Keep in mind, most of the people you'll find in these FactSite biographies are going to be people who stand the test of time. It won't be the most recent quarterback that you find. Malala Yousafzai is a good example. There's a lot of fantastic information, no ads, makes your bibliography. And if you don't have someone in mind, you can also browse by topic, by timeline, by location. For example, if you wanted to look up civil rights leaders, you could browse by this area. They always start out with a nice quote from the person. Of course it will cite it for you. And in some cases, the articles are very thorough. Could be all the research you need. Or use our library catalog to search for human reviewed websites. That's right. You can browse or you can type in your search. Once you do that, human reviewed websites for student research will come up. You can sort them by grade. You can go directly to these websites. Some of them have movies. It's a great way to search the web very efficiently. If you are looking for a country, a place, a state, a location, Culturegrams is a fantastic resource for you. You can browse using the map. You can also type it in. Choose whichever country you like. They have recipes. They have flags. They have all kinds of cool country data, or my favorite, an infographic for every country. TrueFix and FreedomFlix are great databases. TrueFlix has all kinds of facts, whether it's on animals, outer space, some biographies. Every topic has a video that you can watch and a book that you can read to go with it. They're a great starting point for so many topics. And of course, there are websites that have been selected and reviewed for your use. Flipster for Kids is our collection of digital magazines. You might use this, for example, if your topic is a sports topic and you need something more current than fact site. You could search Sports Illustrated, you can search all the issues, although I will give you a caveat, the search feature is not that great. You can type it in and search, and it will search all the back issues. And then you can click on it from there and read what you like. One great thing about Flipster is that some of the magazines we subscribe to are really intended for research, like Faces Magazine, Cobblestone is US History, or if you like animals, Zoo Books or Ranger Rick are a great choice. You can also just look at the covers and browse by issue. My five minutes are up, but I can help you in the library. Happy researching!